Okay. Welcome, everyone, to the new Outworld Order, episode three. All right. There's the intro. Welcome, everyone. New Outworld Order, episode three. Two weeks has passed since our previous episode. A lot of news has been dropped with, with one of the combat casts. And a lot of controversy within our scene that we're going to be talking about. That has only seemed to get juicier as time goes on. And uh, even announcements to today, hours before going live, uh, getting, a little, getting, a little bit of, uh, getting a little bit of fire to add to the fuel that I said completely backwards. Welcome, everyone, to episode Great three. Drinks, by the way. <laughs> fuel, the, fuel out of the fire. It, fuel it, fire. I, I will say, having talked to Big D about tonight's topics a lot, that we are going to be holding back a lot. Uh, okay, cause, cause I, I'm going to stop you right there for a second. I don't want to use the term holding back. We're... Okay, yeah. We're just... We're not... We're not there. This is not going to be a witch hunt, all right? We're not... There we go. That's... To, like, that go after better. anyone. Get your pitchforks! Things need to be addressed. Things they will really be addressed. Be addressed. Uh... Statements are going to be made. I know I'm making statements tonight. I will have had four drinks in me by the time this happens. And welcome, everyone, to the new Outworld Order. I am Mr. Aquaman. And that's the only thing I'm going to say about myself, because I couldn't think of anything. Again, three drinks in. All I right? You say you, well, three doubles, so that's... Yeah, whatever. Nine. It's it's diet soda that 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 takes yeah, some off. We're, we're <laughs> calling people that. out here right now. Oh, cold, we're oh. looking at you, Costner. Did you say three doubles and then nine? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Wait, I didn't. Uh, did he? Yeah. Why didn't you nine, say it? Isn't it? Okay. Doubles. I'll just. You know what? You know what? No. 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 Okay. I'll okay, just say three. That means nine <laughs> normal drinks. Who broke the NDA? Three doubles. What's three top? What's three times two? Oh, so <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? Break the NDA, you get a hammer. Oh my god! All right, while these guys are dying, Jer, uh, Jer, uh, ladies uh, and gentlemen, uh, the, uh, the okay, uh, okay, okay, Jer, I'm gonna do your introduction for you. Coming in here, okay, like <laughs> Crims <laughs> Hemsworth in Infinity War, fresh with the cut, coming in here. With you gotta Stormbreaker, take his eye. none other than Montreal's own. <laughs> Jer. Yeah, that's, that's me. I got new hair. It's the most exciting thing that's happened. <laughs> why is Ryan's Ryan camera actually not on? He actually <laughs> <more> Turn <laughs> your camera back on. Turn your camera He's back on. Turn it back on. <laughs> yeah. I have to introduce you, dumbass. I know you're dying. <laughs> All right. Well, now that everybody can see this guy, this is uh. <laughs> Three times three or three times two, <laughs> big D up here. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll let him try to get some words out or something while he oh, contemplates if he actually went to elementary school or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my stomach, fuck. Yeah, hi. Yeah. And then <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Romanova. <laughs> I'm Romanova, and Big D might be dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm sweating. Okay. The one thing I did want to say, <laughs> moving on from that, is uh, Hello. you got into the XO Academy, which was super cool. That's something that hasn't happened oh. yet, that we haven't had a chance oh, to talk okay. about. Oh, okay. So now you're introducing me properly. Okay. Yeah. It, I took, actually... three, it took three weeks, <laughs> so. Oh, God. I'm, dude. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Math right. is tough, calm, brother. calm down, dude. <sighs> Count to ten. All right. I, 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 just, I just got an idea for a shirt for the show, which is it's gonna be it's gonna be two shots, but it, <laughs> but it, but it's gonna say three drinks. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> oh my god. I would. Anyways, <laughs> let's stay on track. Let's yeah. get Adam, Adam, right. Adam. We got a lot let's, to talk let's, about. Let's, let's get Adam this. first. First and foremost, the combat cast happened since, since the last show. We got a new character, and boy, oh boy, um, everyone seemed to be right in guessing who it was. They 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 kind of leaked a, a color before going live. Um, definitely signified that they were going this direction, and it was none other than Jade. And there Jeez. are. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Seriousness, right out the window again. 
But what? Jade, she, ladies and gentlemen, that. let's talk Jade. The entire combat cast <sighs> was showcasing Jade, all of her new abilities, and going into this, like we talked about uh, on the last episode, if it was Jade, I said that they would have to kind of redesign her from the ground up. And boy, oh boy, did does she have a lot new? But they actually kept her kind of yeah. Okay, I was gonna say jaded. That would have been a pun, and I'm. I, we would have had to end right. Now. Yeah, I would have. I would have. We would have ended yeah. on that note. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely would have been on that note. But no, she, she really does seem true to to the jade that we know from previous iterations of her nine going back. Um, and I gotta say, absolutely in love with her design. I want to hear what you guys have to say about Jade in MK. Yeah, like I don't. I didn't care about Jade personally as a character, even like. In MK9, she looked kind of cool, but, you know, like, she was crap. But going into this, she's become, like, the character I'm most interested in of the announced characters. She looks like she could just do not everything, but whatever she wants to do. She's got everything. Like, run, glow. Oh, oh yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a big thing to talk about, too. Her, she has, yeah. she, she has her that. own game mechanic. Yeah, like, the, the best was in that trailer, like, her using glow and running, like, the UMK3, like, classic, basically. Absolutely. Which, which, was, which was really sick. And glow was really good in MK9. It's just the character was really bad. So a character with good normals and glow, like, has a lot of potential. Plus, like, if, um, if Glaive works at all like Birdarang, we know who's excited to play that character. <laughs> yeah. So, huh. I gotta tell you, dude. Well, I mean, he, I did remember him saying that, like, he looked, uh, Jade looks pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, and then the same boat, I don't like, I was never a fan of Jade. She was always just kind of like this, like, whatever character to me. She was a but, uh, palette swap going back in time, you know? Yeah, but, like, even then, like, when they made her, like, her own character with lore and everything, I just wasn't interested in her. And then, um, I was watching the the gameplay for her, and I'm like, they stayed true to, like, what she is, like, with her, you know, with her projectiles and with her staff grabs and everything like that. But now a lot of her strings incorporate her staff, which is really cool. And then she, all 16 bit kept saying was, uh how she's like a defensive character and like she controls that mid-range space and the first thing i thought of was poison ivy so like i instantly like gravitate yeah. towards her and i think she looks really good she's really simple like she doesn't seem like she has a lot of depth to her but she has a lot of really good tools so right now i'm looking at her and scarlet there's no one else that interests me like to actually play but uh yeah she's pretty sick romanova how about your thoughts so I really liked her design. Um, Jade's always been one of those characters, too. Um, even though she's a Revenant uh, as her default, they showed off some of her different uh, skins and how she has like a regular skin. Um, even though her race is technically in the game Adenian, she's always been somebody who means a lot to uh, like women who play the game that are uh, either of color or are black. And I think that's awesome that she's back for representation. I... I think that's super important, and I love I love seeing the glaive back. I love the redesign to the glaive. It's a little bit different, but it's still got the three different like blades to it. I love seeing the different moves that she can do with her staff. Also, there's a lot of staff. I, yeah, mm -hmm. and and her crushing blows were great, as well as um, seeing her fatality. I like the like sass at the end of it. Yeah, let's say. She's kind of spun Baraka around. Yeah, yeah. they were talking about how, how pretty she, awesome. How she has a lot of, um, and it was purposely added into her move set and her all of her animations as far as movement wise was like a lot of dancing because because they, they they wanted to convey kind of a personality out of her, um, and then so in a lot of her animations it's a lot of uh, not really just the dance moves but like a, a, a lot of a lot of fluid movement like that and I really yeah. like the animations on. Uh, all, yeah. of her, all of her little teleports mid animation, all, but that that green glow was absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I, I do love a redesign as well, and I think that you guys touched on she she seems very heavy in zoning, but very, very heavy in tools. But what's I think that they did a good job in, and this is just theory fighting, but it, she seems really balanced in that. As of right now, there doesn't seem to be a lot of combo potential. Um, which yeah, she's definitely right. not a combo character. 
they definitely yes. like showed that a lot. Yep, which which I think is 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 a perfect balance for a character like that that's so yeah. strong at keeping away. You know, it's not like in previous games where someone could be this insane zoner and and have all of these tools and can still hit you for fifty off of a hit. You know, right? Katana! But now here's the thing: they're they're going that route with Jade, right? And now she's not very combo oriented. She doesn't do a lot of damage, even though it's an early build. We know, but you look at how she's very uh, versatile in that mid range, and in response to her not having like high damage and combos or whatever, that's cool. If every other character follows suit, yeah. if they don't follow that exactly. same suit, she's going to end up being useless. Exactly. The exact same way how she was in MK9. Dude, MK9, she was total shit, but she had certain tools that were ridiculous. Imagine that EX glow in, like, MKX, just hyper armor for a bar. That was no. one thing that I, I was Zero glad. frame startup whenever yeah. you wanted. That was one thing I'm glad I didn't see was that there, there didn't seem to be um, a way to enhance that, that glow at all. It, it just seemed to be um, normal and projectile immune unless they didn't want to show us it but I, I never heard them talk about it um but there didn't seem to be a way to enhance that thing because i was really curious about that since there's such scarce armor in this game that that would have been pretty game breaking yeah that, that would have been, been really really strong like if it had actual armor yeah i think they're being really Especially careful with with bar coming like back. Yeah. yeah 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 exactly i think they're being really careful with stuff like that and that was one of the things i mentioned uh why I don't think certain characters are going to make it into the game. Like Ermac, for example, how are you going to balance a character that has like a mid-screen push like that in a game like this? Yeah. That's why I think they're going to keep certain characters out because it just doesn't fit the engine of the game. I think I honestly think that's what it means. But that that's going to a whole nother or, uh, or take it away. But Ermac... Uh, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Never mind. Nah. Like, <laughs> That's not a mistake. Like he didn't have two other viable uh, you know, viable variations. God forbid. You only have one move. Only God, one move. God forbid. Anyways, um, yeah, I think... I don't... You know, other than anime avatars on Twitter, I feel like the <laughs> overall consensus is that her her redesign is outstanding. And they, yeah. they really gave her a personality, uh, you know... Pushing, pushing the story that 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 she's an assassin um, was really cool. They're really lore focused in this game as well. It seems like actually building these characters because they they are their you know Netherrealm's characters they've created, and so right. I, I feel like so much more goes into them than say like an Injustice where where we're actually yeah. caring, about, caring about the characters here in MK11. Well, mm -hmm. And people keep like complaining about like the gear she's wearing, like like oh like somebody said like shut up. Burka. And, like, it's, like, dude, first of all, like, a lot of this, like, a lot of the stuff I've seen so far, there's, like, deserty like, levels, deserty like, yeah, things. Right. And th they're not just used, like, you're, like, that's not just used as, like, a religious thing. It's it's to protect your face and everything from, like, the temperature, the, the wind, and all that kind of stuff. And it also hides you, which you're an assassin. So yeah. you're going to want to be able to sneak around, do things that are sneaky. And she still manages, in my opinion, like, regardless of the zombie or its base skin jade, she still manages to maintain, like, a feminine figure. And I think, and, and this is me personally, and you guys don't have to respond on this, I think she looks so far out of the women announced, I think she has the most curve to her out of all of them. I I mean, I, I do, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I think there should be, like, diversity in the cast, too. Like, there should be, like, one lady who is, like, curvaceous and she could, you know, she I doesn't even noticed, have to show it off. But uh, that's just me. Like, I've, uh, as a woman, I have an eye for uh, fellow, like, femininity. So, yeah. I, I also speak <laughs> on behalf of all the anime avatars out there and say that, listen, the best way to be sneaky, and everyone can attest to this, is just to be butt naked, okay? <laughs> You're not going to yeah, make a, sound. a very good point. Can we actually. be serious with how stupid those arguments were online? You know, <laughs> yes. like remember when Dude, Scarlet I saw... and everyone's like, "Oh my god, she's not she doesn't look nearly as cool as MK9 Scarlet." But MK9 Scarlet was literally the most basic fucking costume ever. It and was Jade. just ridiculous. And Jade. All it, it was essentially yeah. Okay, it was essentially yeah. just a, a just a giant V from from the from the crotch to the shoulder blades. And that was it. Yeah. And they're like, like, oh, look how imaginative that was. The there was up. an image I saw that was like, if men were dressed how women are in old oh, fighting fantastic. games. The Raiden one? Like, <laughs> dude, dude that image it's is so funny. 
Like, I never want to see that in the game. Hey, together. listen. I'll oh say it. God. Each character has I'll... its own personality now, and the worst part is these guys will be like, oh, they, they're listening to the SJWs. They're going the SJW route. First of all, somebody says SJW is their argument. You can't take them seriously because they have no fuel. And <laughs> secondly, too, it's like, dude, like, you know, some, like, None of these people that are making these characters are SJWs at frickin' Netherrealm. They're they're just normal dudes that have been doing this shit for years, and they're just like they're they're doing you know more realistic style now yeah. because the games are more realistic yeah. now. Yeah. You notice that the transition, and I was gonna write an article about this, but I'm still not sure if I want to post it or not because I was in the middle of writing it. Is uh, you look at MK1 who just had Sonya. And then you see MK2, which had Katana Melina, and you see like the way that they look and stuff. They're not that revealing. Like even the leotards that they were wearing in MK2 no. are not that revealing at all. There's some thigh. There's not booty. It's not like a thong like in the back. It it, it wasn't until the 3D models came and it was like just 3D that the proportions started getting whack because they weren't based on real people anymore. The first game, that Sonya, that chick was just a buff chick. Like, the one it was yeah. based off oh, of. Yeah. She was just a buff chick. Fit. Like, <laughs> and not not a, like, big bobs, you know? So, <laughs> uh, but, you know, people don't understand that. They they grew up seeing the, the stuff that isn't realistic. So they think that is, even though they would never see a woman. Except for, also, like, in stuff, that, like, in those <laughs> proportions. Also, in MK11, all of these characters, um, from what I heard at the reveal, are based off of real, actual people. They're modeled after real, real oh, really? humans. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's cool. gonna be interesting. That's really, really cool. But, but that makes it, that makes it, like, even more so, like, why they need to go about something like that, right? So they're not gonna, they're not gonna base it off of how someone looks, and then just enhance, you know, yeah. what they look. They want it, they want it to be more realistic. MK9... They were not going for realism in oh, any fucking it. definition of the word. They just they just weren't. Bro. Look at MK9 Sonya. Like this look is... at their faces. Okay, in yeah, MK9. The, the, the faces were definitely yeah. better. Their faces. When people say they're better than MK9, you can literally write their argument right off yeah. there. Yeah, I've they were I, awful. I actually have a big argument, which was imagine Scarlet or Jade in MK9 having to fight at like the Lin Kuei Temple. Tell me that's realistic. It's not. No. <laughs> Shut the, the hell up, Twitter. Just uh, some people are just stupid. Like when it comes, when they base their, you know, their conversation, and their points off of stuff like that, it's like <laughs> not even worth listening to. No, but the fact that articles were written based on how Jade looked in MK11 blew my skull. Okay, dude. Like, hey, I could not that, believe that, it. Do you remember who wrote written, it? That was written by a premium porn porn hub member. Okay. Yeah. Was it actually? That no. that, <laughs> that that was an idiot. And didn't get it for free on Valentine's Day. I, no, it was a premium <laughs> porn hub. Like subscriber, but actually works for Kotaku. So like, <laughs> it makes like it only makes sense. Yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to say about Jade though, like, I don't remember which alt it was, but she looked the best when she was like fully. She had like a full dress on and like yeah. a veil over her face. Oh, dude, I, thought, I love that. That like costume a, was amazing, dude. It was like a half like Assassin's yeah. Creed looking robe or whatever yeah. that was, dude. That was so cool. Why would you not that. play that? Like yep. that Shout is out to so sixteen sick. bits loadouts. Yeah, mm. dude. Well, like, <laughs> I, I know all the people like the, like, the revealing shit, but, yo, like, in MK9, for those that don't know, I was a Molina main when I played the game in tournaments, and I only played, like, MK3 Molina, or, like, alt costume Molina, the one with the ponytail up and the veil over her face, and not, like, costume one where, like, it looked like crap, or the Flash band pit. costume. <laughs> well, okay, wait, to be fair... If Flesh Pits was ever legal at a tournament, you know I played that shit, because oh, I needed every so advantage... Funny. Yeah, dude. She was actually broken. It was actually, actually broken. Actually broken. By the yeah. way, dude, when Sonic used Flesh Pits Molina at um wow, Combo Breaker, but no one said anything. Uh, whatever. It was I don't. I don't think anybody cared. And I also think most people watching that weren't playing the game had no idea that that was the smallest character in the game. So, yeah. no, nah, they didn't remember that shit. Um, be because we have a lot to get into tonight, uh, we have to move kind of quick. But I yeah. do have one more thing to bring up about the combat cast, which was what they added to Baraka. Oh, the flags. oh my god! Dude. Okay, it, it, this was not on the on the docket, but I but I just remembered it off the top of my head is that that flag is a game changer. 
not even the flag. Remember the variation where he has, you know, his universal overhead, but then the command grab? Oh, How yeah. ridiculous did that one look? Like, you're not going to tell me that didn't look crazy. He is, yeah. It's just, so far, he's one of the few characters that just has mirrorless armor on anything. Yeah. Which is which is I something. Mean, and, 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 and the fact that it, on hit or block, it replants, sets up yeah. some very dangerous corner shit. I feel yeah. like I feel like right now it looks really good, but it could be one of those things where in like literally one week after the game comes out, it's like he's charging at me and I held up. What happens? Oh yeah, Baraka he, dies. Oh, look he at definitely that, dies. Dude. He definitely dies. Yeah, yeah. So like, who knows? Unless for some reason he charges behind you and you hit him in the back and he sells armor and you have to hold that shit. But yeah, I'm yeah, not it, looking at the armor as much as I am with uh, he, that command. I, I think Baraka looks, looks really strong. Insane. Yeah, he, yeah, Baraka he looks very does strong. strong. But his sparks. Are, Why is that so good? It's actually nice. Yeah, like, it's, it's actually huge. it's actually it's incredibly insane. strong. Okay, that okay. is not allowed to be a miss. So it's far to to this day, and this is where we're we're almost halfway on the roster at this point. Uh, Sonic Fox is eyeballing this character, which means that something's up, right, guys? That that yeah. that, that should That's be true. an indication is looking. of something good. Uh, I I played Rock at the reveal. The character was nuts. Loved yeah. him. He was actually insane. Do you think devs keep that in mind whenever, uh, <laughs> Day whenever they're like going through the characters game. and rosters? They look at Sonic Fox's Twitter like, "Fuck, he's looking at Baraka. We have to change something. Like something's wrong here." Because well, they know he's not going to play a shit character. Six, no, but to six, be fair, okay, hold on. Sixteen bit plays chat. who he likes. <laughs> Sixteen bit in chat said Baraka hasn't been good in twenty five years. Leave him alone. God damn it, that's, that's a good argument. That is. Bullshit, he was decent in MK9. Shut up. Shut, Shut up. up, No, Steve. no. No, I, I, he was slept on in MK9. No, no he was It's not a part of the script. Give me give me one result with, with Baraka in MK9. What do you mean? He's tell gonna me, be like, yeah, tell remember me, Tetris Spirit tell me, when he went to that <laughs> one? Remember Tetris Spirit when one he beat Chaotic one, one time? Black. Some Cuban guy, dude. It was a Cuban oh! guy. <laughs> some, just because some Cuban guy... Happened happened to beat Chaotic one time, God forbid. Um, oh, no, God. no, Barack actually has not been good. He that's, that's actual facts by by bit in the chat. I gotta I gotta give him some credit on that. Man, he was decent somewhere. <laughs> he said Neither I have, have been, I been. He said I have But he he can't, he popped into my head, dude. I don't know why. Dude, wait. Okay, wait. Before before we switch topics, how come they didn't give Baraka back? You remember like the uh, <laughs> the like. Thing, oh, where he, like, oh, oh, that was ugly. <laughs> that was ugly. Also, yeah, his up that? Forward, that was punishable on hit, by the yeah. way. <laughs> um, for, real quick, can we talk about how Baraka, of all time in Mortal Kombat history, has the best get up mid round in MK9 of all time, where he just pops his blades out of his arms and gets up? That should have said. Oh best, best up animation I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Now it's cool. By the way, oh, God. Yeah. all right, all right. Uh, yeah, we're we're getting off we're track. Gonna, well, we're gonna see a lot of cool animations. Yeah, Re Recon, okay. We, Recon, we have not got to summit yet. That is a big topic on the night, but we were getting through the review. We're, we're getting oh, sorry, no, juicy no, 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 no. combat cast. Yeah, we have, we haven't gotten to the juice it's yet. Juicy like a bourbon. Let's see. We're gonna skip rocks. over that next one. Let's get into who we want to see next in the combat cast. Keep in mind. That Kano and Devora have been officially announced. I think but it's Kano. Not shown yet. I honestly think it's Kano and, next. And we've been teased other characters too. We've, we've been, been teased, teased Johnny Cage. We've, we've been teased Johnny... well, in the trailers. We've been teased Katana, Cassie mm -hmm. Cage. Blue. We've been teased Liu Kang. Kung so Lao. Those are all three. That Kung Lao. Those are four right there that we could see too. Yeah. But we don't know. I mean, I, I'm just playing devil's advocate, but we don't we don't know how many of those are actually playable. Yeah, I mean, how how big of a surprise was it um, when we found out that Chronica wasn't going to be playable? I I'm going to be that person to say, give us more grills. I yeah, give me my girl Cassie. So, dude, I'm so sick. Yeah, of this, give so. us give us Cassie. Chill, bro. You you have a face, and 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 other people complaining about her. Already? And it's a that's another thing. We'll get into it another time. That's like not even like like it's not bad, but it's not final. And people like jump. They're like, ah, and like none of them have like art experience well, at all. Well, fuck anyone who disagrees. She, she looks fine. I want to see Frost. I'm waiting. Okay. I'm waiting for Frost because I know the Ermac and Nightwolf dream is dead. I want to see Frost next. You don't know that any of your dreams up, are dead. Are you 100 anyways. Sure? Nah. Uh, I, I'm. 
They, they, you do not know that. You do not know if your dreams are dead. No, my dreams are dead. Don't <laughs> let your dreams just be dreams. They are dreams. Let's go to the next subject. What is it? Okay. What is it? <laughs> what is this? A Facebook post? Um, <laughs> Motivation for Big D. All right. Um. Wait. Uh. I think it's Mikano. Tyler was way too enthusiastic about the next combat cast. Well, they're gonna. They have to show. Yeah. They have to at least break down a character and then you know show off. Like not show off, but like announce another one. Right? Isn't that kind of been like how they've done things? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Also. So if they break down Kano, maybe like the next day or something, they'll like show the render of like another character. You know, like maybe it'll do something like that. Just do Kano and Cassie, please, for the love of God. Fuck show Cassie. me Cassie. Cassie well, I should know. I want to see it. Cage. What if they? What if they show Johnny and Cassie? I'd be fine. I don't care about Johnny, but <laughs> I know. <laughs> but like, if he leads to showing the Cassie, Cassie then I I'm fine with that. Yeah. Oh wait, sure. real quick. How big of a troll would it be if Ed Boon showed that and it's just like from the story mode? That that would be classic. I'd be okay with it. I don't want Johnny in there. I don't want. I don't want that kind of in there. Dude, you don't want Jonathan forward, Cage, dude. His forward three in this game. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! Like, want, have you seen Baraka's up. forward four? Yeah, I know that shit. Oh my god! It goes even farther. He actually does a dark. Didn't, didn't, didn't people? Didn't people? Didn't people tweet out more blank, colorful posts or something on Twitter? No, they're, they're, they're like uh, avatar uh, pictures of like Baraka saying who's next, yeah. and then everyone's like, "Oh, it's Melina because it's Dark Cotton." God, okay, dude. Not. Yeah, you ever you ever not. just take out your fishing rod and like, oh look at that, a Baraka post, and boom, <laughs> Melina for MK11, brother. Look at that, she's fucking dead, dude. God, I hope so. Keep her, keep her dead. All right, to to answer Big D, Loki, I kind of want to see Shao Kahn gameplay. They oh, now, they, they need they need to because well not need to but I think they will because for MKX even though Goro was DLC. As a pre-order bonus, they still show yeah, they gameplay of him. Yep. They did it before the game came out. So it's one possible best... that Shao Kahn can be announced. That, that was like, one of the best combat out. casts was Punchwalk. Yeah, that was sick. By the way, biggest bill NRS has when they, ever when they, sold us. When they buffed yeah. Punchwalk. Yeah. Well, then, it, then it was good. Day one Punchwalk was a disaster. Oh, yeah. That shit was <laughs> ass <laughs> cheeks, dude. Guess what? Final patch Punchwalk? Let me my Punchwalk. <laughs> let it, let it anti-air behind him, and you get launched in front still. Well, no, That's that the was MKX second to last special. patch. Yeah. I mean, second still. to last patch. Because yeah. the last patch was you had to meter burn it and then meter build, and then, and then, meter and then, burn and then, it and again to pop him up. That's okay. He always had bar. It's okay. This, this is a punch walk friendly household. Oh, yeah. Oh, I man. forgot. The K is not allowed <laughs> on this podcast. You keep him yeah. in the other room. He ain't talking He's Goro. forever. Yep. You literally right. gave me PTSD by behind the back moves by jumping over Ermac and getting pushed through him. <laughs> Listen, dude. That Ermac happened so many times. Yeah, anyways. Anyways. Everybody. Please. Anyways, that was the last right. that that was the last combat cast and a little bit of a teaser, especially from Ed with just a middle finger and some military tags on so Twitter. So we'll have to see it. Some new moves for Baraka, which means that characters we saw at the reveal may have new moves. All of them. They're just adding moves all nilly willy, it seems. Which is good because that means everything is subject to change. Like we already knew that, but that is that's proof that they literally can change whatever they want between now and release. We don't know. People need to keep that in mind. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of it. I can't wait for the next one. Um, and we actually have a member of of the combat cast in the chat hanging out with us, which is absolutely incredible. It's a bit. Um, By the way, shout outs to Bit. Awesome job on the weight loss. Oh like, yeah, awesome. Yeah, Seriously, dude. that is you just shower impressive. shower him right now with the props. Yeah, yeah it's that insane. is, that everyone is everyone super props. Props. impressive. Everyone, everyone, get this man props. Um, yeah. which, which, which takes us to the next topic, which, let's just... How does that take us to the next topic? <laughs> because, we're slimming down on topics right now. Yeah, we're getting to yeah, the end, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah we gotta, we game. gotta drop the old ones and, and get See, that ones. was, that was a big brain read right That there. was a big, that was a really good jerk. So, let's just, let's just dive kick our way into this. <laughs> oh my god I let's go <laughs> I, hate, I hate it because you just remind me sonia doesn't have a dive kick in this game <laughs> screw sonia cry me a river she still has a mix chill all right yeah, guys yeah the summit of time it, let's get into it all right the summit of time ding dong yeah, it's a thing that exists, I guess. That's a thing that exists, but it, 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 it is it a is thing good. that exists. It is. It is good. Okay. For the scene. And they announced, and they announced who's going to be on it. 
today yes, officially. Today. Official, officially. not no okay, leaks. Not leak. No, no drama. Yeah. No nothing. Never. We're not. No, we're there, nobody in the FGC is not for drama, right? That's not. A not, thing. not Never. Not Only us. Um, <laughs> it is an absolutely yeah, right. over the top incredible thing for our scene that you guys, I don't think a lot of people realize what they Summit, don't realize what Summit does to individuals involved and communities involved. Summit is fucking huge. Can I cuss on this show? Who's the streamer? I mean, we've, guys, we've it's, I, I think, it's on your I stream. I think we've but... cussed. All right. It's fucking massive. I think all of you can attest to that. Yeah. 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 It's, it's huge. Hell yeah. Like, it's huge for us for exposure for our scene. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's if you if you have a game you want it to at least appear once on summit yeah. I, I had so much fun i had so much fun just watching the dragon ball summit so this is going to be amazing for us same here just from a spectator yeah. standpoint you know a, a lot of people um and we're just going to get into some of these topics here you know a lot of people are looking from the outside in and complaining that they're not there when Again, this is just so good for our scene, and no matter what, even just watching it, I think is going to be incredible. Um, yeah. That, um, I'll I'll personally say I'll, I'll get I'll get into one of the topics about about this thing, which is that I think our scene had a poor reaction to it has an awful reaction. the leak to yes. the leak. Not use not use our scene very yeah. loosely it, here. <laughs> it 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 wasn't the announcement of the summit happening. But that leak really did. It cooked everybody. Yeah, like it was. It was actually unfortunate, and a lot of people that mm-hmm. that have had rants. That is the one thing that is universal. That is universally bad about this whole entire ordeal is that someone leaked it. Yep. And yep. and that kind of fucked everything. That that unraveled way too much. I thought somebody and broke an NDA, which you don't do. Well, and Tweety they told did, somebody like, else. No, but they yeah. told somebody else. They either told Tweety or they told somebody yeah. that then told Tweety to get Tweety fired up because Tweety isn't afraid to say what's on his mind. Yeah, but this is a classic example. And th- this is actually one of the worst parts about it is that um, whoever broke NDA, that led to it just getting leaked like this. Go in. There's Well, we don't know besides who that... No one knows, like, realistically, no one actually knows who it is. So there's not going to be any consequences for it. I don't yeah, think yeah. people in the scene realize how bad it is to break an NDA. Yes. Like, no, it, that is a serious that. issue. Like, that's, that's a I'm, legal I'm issue like, for, for those like, of you who don't. Portion, but one of my majors in college was criminal justice, and I know how serious, like, breaking agreements like that is. And yeah. there's literally no repercussions for this person breaking NDA, which is just as bad as what's going, what was going on before. Like yeah. in my opinion, whoever broke NDA needs to be outed and punished like super hard yeah. to show that if our scene gets these opportunities in the future, that people realize that you actually need to, you actually need to keep your fucking mouth shut. Yeah, I mean it's the internet though, so like people just do things and realize that. There's no consequence, I guess, right? But you get cooked if you... <laughs> Dude, it's like, I don't... I don't. It's a really big production. So, for people that don't know, um, like, before I was in the FTC, I played Smash, like, since 2004, since I was a little kid. And I traveled to tournaments from, like, 2005, like, literally onwards until here we are right now. I've watched every single summit that Melee has had and DBFC. And everybody thinks that it's just like, why is the pot so big? Why isn't this person invited? Like, mm-hmm. you need to realize that it's a show and it's not a tournament. Like, right. there is a singles tournament, sure. Like, that's what everybody wants to see, right? They want to see the singles thing. But there's so many other things, like people playing, like, yeah. Mafia, all the segments and stuff. Like, you only Jenga. see people in a tournament. Je- yeah, exactly. People doing weird shit. The, like, Dragon, the Dragon Ball run, remember beneath microwaving fucking milk for a cereal yeah. dude like weird stuff like that like people people like w- like i'm gonna give a quick shout out to honeybee tim like his vlogs you get like a really good kind of behind the scenes thing but like when you watch a stream you're only seeing the players play a game and like that's it you don't know who the player is right 
So we're getting to see so, like a spice of somebody's personality in a setting that like there's a tournament involved, but it's not like do or die Evo or something. Yeah. Like that's what you need to be watching it for. Not yeah. like the oh, it's only singles. Oh, he won. He's the goat. That's it. Pack yeah. it up. And that's where you know, especially with Honeybee, that he does a good job with the vlogs. Because I'm like, I'm genuinely interested in seeing the summit vlog that he's gonna inevitably put out. It's gonna be godlike. It's actually yeah, gonna be so sick. The evil vlog. Like, every time he's on camera, this is all you're gonna see. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. This, this. No, he's done a great, and he's done a great job. So it is, it it is beneficial. Clearly, he got the spot that Christy lost or declined. Gave up, gave up. Whatever, whatever, it was. whatever the situation is, we, yeah, we will never know. probably know for certain. But you know, at least it went to somebody who. They're not just a good player, but B is also really good at branding and marketing yeah. himself, and he's really done that. You see it the most since, you know, e what was it, Evo and Justice, like... Mm -hmm. The oh, hour-long yeah, vlog? The pop-off. Yeah. Like, he started, yeah, yeah, he started, like, really gaining a lot of that then. Yeah, it's really, really good. You know, picking up, and he marketed mm -hmm. on it. He, oh. it, it was, it's really good that he marketed All himself deserved. as like the hero of Evo that people gave him, and he, he absolutely hopped on it. It was absolutely gorgeous to see. You have yeah. to. Yep. Not um, every day you get a chance like that, and he just he wrote it on. So he's a smart businessman for that. I also um, want to talk about how uh, we, we we kind of dove right into the summit, but real real quick to everyone watching that may not know what the summit is, I want to go real quick over what summit actually is. Um, it's a it's a multiple day event where an X a number of people are invited to take part in, like we said, a, a tournament, but also just shenanigans, uh, very long days, like 10 hours a day. Um, they'll just do stuff, showcase personalities, do different events, uh, just have fun and make it a very good viewing experience for those at home. There are an, a number of people that are invited to this thing uh, based, based on multiple different reasons, I would assume, but it, it is up to Summit to choose who actually goes to the summit. And then there are multi uh, there are now a couple of ways in that we found out. Two yep. qualifiers, East and West Coast. I thought yep. that I, I thought that was really good and two of the longest lasting locals in our scenes history. Um and two of the ones that are still active, which is crazy. Um NLBC and Wednesday Night Fights. You can find details uh by following uh, Summit on Twitter. Uh yes. and, that's, and that's and that's beyond the summit. And so there there are two spots in through qualifiers and then what we would assume is four spots in through votes that's Loving. yeah because i believe there are 16 for dragon ball i think we can safely say that four people are going to get voted it'll be four thing. yeah I, I can imagine it may 1st by the way i think somebody asked in chat yeah. it's may 1st so yeah whoever you guys want to see at this event pay attention to social media um, I'm sure they're going to put out the voting stage really soon um, to, as far as who, who is eligible uh, and uh, vote them in. Uh, you can you can purchase votes on Smash GG. Uh, I believe there are multiple ways uh, to do the votes depending on how they do it. Um, it's going to be absolutely incredible. That's what Summit is. It's a multiple day event, very long days. And huge exposure. A lot of people tune into this, and I can't wait to see all of all of our scenes personalities really shine through on an event like this because this is going to be non scripted, like we've seen some of the. F okay, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want no, to say the f word. The, yeah, no, yeah. But... The the fake word. Um, like with chasing the cup, mm -hmm. with a, with a lot of these behind the scenes things where it seems right. so scripted and so corny. Uh, people, people were. Compton, I'm gonna there's blow you up. I'm gonna blow you up, Compton. These yep. ESL character or player intros during <laughs> during the uh, the the pro league finals. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna slit his throat. Okay, okay, pig. You know. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, Amanda. It, it was to your point. I saw that on Twitter where this is gonna be real. Yeah, for the, for like for the first time, this is like. You want people with, like, personality to be on there because you want them to not only have, this, have a, like, the skill at the game, but you want them to, like, be entertaining because this is, like, one of those things where there, there's not going to be somebody, t like, necessarily, like, poking them, like, telling them, like, you know, do this, do this, do this, like, say this, you know what I mean? Like, they want them to do their thing and, 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 it, and it's going to be, like, like you said, like 10 hours a day. Like, mm -hmm. they, these people have to be entertaining enough for 10 hours a day. Some people, yeah. regardless of how good they are, they aren't 
camera people. They 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 just they can't necessarily do this, but maybe they can, and we don't know that yet because this is the first time something like this has happened. So that's why the voting portion is going to be really important, you know, or the competition part. Since these people are really good competitors, they might be able to take those wins and get themselves in for that other spot. Because, Which, yep. because you know, they, they definitely gave our community something that, that it was upset about, which was a way for results to, to, to get into Summit, because I'm, I'm going to rephrase, I'm going to say this loud and proud, that it doesn't matter what you've done at yep. all to get chosen in the summit. Results and, don't matter. And remember, we always talk about that. That was one of the biggest things that we've seen changing over the years. That even when you talk about, you know, players that are trying to get a sponsor, it's not, you can't just place. Placing alone is not good enough anymore. It's not, and we all understand that now. This is a prime example that you don't have to be this crazy, amazing competitor placing top two, top three, whatever, but then you're inactive everywhere else and then expect to all have all this stuff just handed to you. It's not like that anymore. Back in the day, everything was all about placements. Now as we push more towards these, like, I guess, higher production or esports, whatever the fuck you want to call it, that's you need to have a little bit of everything. You know, yep. something to fall back on where your placings don't come in at certain times of the year, you have other things that still keep you going. Yeah, and, and, and it's interesting. But this has always been Summit, and that's the way that they do things, and we need to understand that that's the way they do things. This is not, mm -hmm. this is yeah. not, a, this is not a tournament invitational. Right. Yeah. Um, there, this, the, isn't, I, this isn't elite. Day. You yeah. know, this isn't E-League, right? This is not E-League. Re results do not matter whatsoever. Um, and, you know, look at everyone that's upset that did well in Injustice 2. Um, and, you know, a, a, lot, a lot of these younger guys that are very entitled to, you know, what what they've done. And and that, that again, they're, they're entitled to being in something like this. Um, at the end of the day, I'm a, I, I, I've told them all personally, it actually doesn't matter um, that... Something like this, you just have to accept it for what it is, and mm -hmm. sit back and enjoy the show. And you're they're given their opportunity to make it in, whether through the voting phase or now through um, earning their way in via combat. And I, I'm upset that a lot of our guys were incredibly buttered by that. Um, personally, it's because they really want it. Yeah, and yeah. which, which yeah. absolutely again, it's a very big opportunity. Yeah, they understand how big of an opportunity it is, but I really kind of hope as we move forward and we get closer to, even when they start releasing information on the voting phase, um, I don't want people to let, you know, the greed of getting a spot get to their head. And it seems to be that, like, I feel like people, the way they've reacted to the summit in general, like with the roster and everything, I feel like they're really going to be at each other's throats for this. And I just kind of hope they do it in the right way, you know? I feel like things might get a little bit too crazy. I have my own opinions on, you know, who was actually invited. I don't really have a lot of issues with it, except for like, you know, one or two little things. But if you want, yeah. we're if, not if you want, we, we we can get into it and, and who's invited and and who sure. who we felt may have been a surprise and who we who we felt may have been a surprise isn't there. How about um, that? Okay. I don't have a surprise on who isn't there. Besides maybe maybe rewind rewind this yeah absolutely. yeah rewind um, I feel should be in there for sure I mean this in no disrespect I'm not trying to start any bullshit that's my disclaimer I can't figure out why Tyrant was invited and I I understand how that sounds but it, okay so let's let me break this down right you want to look at placements which we already agree don't really matter right. You have like Sonic Fox. You have you know you you have all these people that have gotten top eights, and even a couple of top sixteens, or have been like you know invited to certain places. But like forget it, forget placements. Uh, online presence. I haven't heard of Tyrant in forever. Granted, he's a great player. I yeah. already know. We all know he's a great player, right? Yeah, like, wasn't he? He's like an MK9 legend, right? He's an MK9 yeah. OG. So I all, yeah. automatically already have respect for him. But he was gone throughout MKX. Mm -hmm. you know, he traveled a little bit, but then he was gone. Injustice, yeah. he was pretty much gone. So, um, 
And then yeah. you can't you can't have that that he didn't have an online presence while he was gone. So I'm trying to figure out what was the basis that he got invited. That's, think, all, that's yeah. all I want to know. Maybe is the he's like why he got invited. maybe he's like the person in the house that shows up on like Big Brother or something. <laughs> he hasn't been there and he hasn't been there in a while. Yeah. So everyone's like, where the hell have you been? Which is cool. I'm not that like we also, all know Tyrant's gonna put on yeah. a show. I just want to know what the criteria. Be on him. I want to know what criteria he met. Yeah. To be able to get to okay, that. I I think. So I could, I'll play opposite of you, even though I may feel the same way as you do. Um, Opposite-wise, in MK9, everybody knows him, like, hype Jax. Um, nobody really brings it up, but in Justice 1, when he did play, he was, like, the Grundy player. A good one. And if you guys remember him playing against PPJ at NEC, like, Hawkeye... I wasn't around for that. So yeah, okay, so I wasn't playing the game at the time, but I was still following it because, you know, like, everybody's, like, they're my people. Right. And, like... When you see two, like, an unconventional character like Grundy being played, everything is hype, and he's a grappler, right? So I, I get it. Going into MKX, I think people had hopes for him, and he didn't really do anything. All I remember is 2016 Combo Breaker when he entered with Leatherface, and maybe he played another character. I but as far as... I remember, oh, go on, go on. I remember doing well with Jax really early on, and then I believe he got hit with the real-life hammer. Um... Oh, okay, okay. A, a, a lot of yeah. MKX, but... And that's another thing. I'm not saying yeah. that he they not justified reasons for taking a break. That's also not what I'm saying. I know he has the potential, but if you're looking at all these, you know, criteria that all these other players meet, whether it's personality mm -hmm. or placements or, you know, anything else, he's not in that same league when you're looking at all of those different categories. Yeah, it doesn't thing, matter yeah. what you look at. If you're looking at MK9 OGs, there's only one other one on that list, and that's DJT. But DJT was dominant in MKX for a really in almost long everything. Time. Yeah, in almost exactly. everything. Exactly. Yeah. And he was gone in Justice 2, and I still agree with him being there. But he has a personality. Like, yeah. he, he, he has he a actually personality. Has, like, yeah. whole, he actually has like, the whole package. One of the, one of the funniest videos was the little mini one they had him do for the ESL? season 3 yeah. ESL. Yeah. Where he's like, Mary, man. It's so good. Everything that that dude does as far as, like, making videos or recording. CR, Sonic, Fox. <laughs> it's perfect. Yep. But that's the personality that we're talking about, which helps make it up for the fact that he wasn't around during Injustice 2. Uh, I, I, I'm going to bring up, I actually agree that Tyrant, I mean, let's just let's just get the kind of back to Ty Tyrant was the surprise. Um, yeah. I think yeah. I think for Absolutely. a lot of people being there. He but, was. But I'm, I'm going to put one defense, and I'm, I'm going to leave it up to the jury, and that is that Tyrant, uh, the summit's all about putting on a show, and Tyrant is one of the best of our scene's history on putting on a show when it comes to in-game. Uh, his personality, I don't know. I, 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 Nobody I have, knows. We haven't seen him in a few years. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, got, like, I, like, I, I have fond memories of Tyrant all the time, every time I met him. Um, but I, I think that Part of what went into selection is that he has had some of the best gaming moments, I think, of all time in multiple games for our scene. And I think that if Tyrant shows up and if Tyrant beats anyone, that's going to be a huge storyline. And, yeah. and, and if he does yeah, it in style, especially for the and, beginning uh, of the game, I think that I think that right now we're, 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 we're looking past. And I think that when it happens live and if, and if he does and if, if magic happens, we're all going to be like Tyrant's back. But you yep. see, this is the but, thing, but, but, and yeah, I, think I, I, I need to absolutely. keep reiterating this, that I'm not I'm not disagreeing that he's going to be able to put on a show. Yeah, I'm not saying that, you know, he's not a good enough player to be at the Summit. What I'm saying is that when you're, when the guy, when the Summit guys are sitting at a table, they're like, all right, what are we looking for in these players? And they, they agree on a certain thing for personality, they certainly agree for being a player, and then, like, everything else involved, Tyrant's not on it's not on paper. He could you're, be the you're underdog. You're going based off here from yeah. six years ago in a game. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he's not going to put on a show. I'm not saying he could. He won't be able to win the whole thing. But if you're... Dude's got potential. I'm just telling you from what I'm seeing on when you could clearly understand why other people were picked. You can't understand why Tyrant really was in relation to everybody else. Uh, oh yeah, like over over certain yeah. people, we might exactly as a as a yeah. community no. say deserves to be there. I'll play devil's advocate since I'm the person who wasn't there competitive for MK9, mm -hmm. but has done my research and knows that he's like an OG, that he's he's 
been there. He's done the things. He's entertaining. He, he's if you're type like if you're casting, you know, which essentially these people, this is what they do for a living. So they're they're professionals at this. They know what they're doing, regardless of what we think. Mm-hmm. He's probably like the underdog, right? So he's the guy who hasn't been around. That the pressure is going to be most on him there to perform well. No, like it, you know, may it might be on maybe one of the people that are voted in too, depending on yeah. who we get voted in. Right. Because they're not gonna, they're gonna have to still prove themselves because they were voted in, not. Yeah, they have to prove know, it to the people that voted them in. Right. But he's Which he's is... the one he's the one out of the people invited that is that that type. He he's right. gonna he's gonna be the underdog since he hasn't been as active since the older games. Mm. Which uh, yeah. that leads to the next uh, the next segment predictions on who we think will be voted in. All right, I'm gonna go, I'll go, I'll go ahead and name it. Uh, there are four spots. There's three. I'm gonna, there's three because there's no way in hell Sonic Fox will not make sure rewind. I'm gonna say over. rewind Samij. <laughs> again, mm-hmm. again, we know the reason. I think that. That, that that trifecta of training partners is going to make yeah. it in. Sonic yeah. rewind yeah. Samij. Um, I'm going to say Biohazard. I can Bio, definitely Bio see got to be there. I, the the Commander brothers have to be together. And 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 my fourth is I have no effing clue. So I will let you guys. Let's get to K. Pick. Let's throw the K in there. Pick up. What you throw guys think? The I don't know, man. There. There's so there's going to be so much competition. Uh, I don't know. It, it really depends. Uh, we kind of have to wait and see what, like, who's going to be able to be voted in, right? We don't even know, like, the names they're going to be able to pick or however that even works. Yeah. I have no idea how that works. They should put you have Jupiter. A lot of streamers out Jupiter. There as well. Let's vote Jupiter in. Jupiter, <laughs> Jupiter, he'll be like, "Where's my brother Lance?" Matt hasn't done he'll be anything like, yeah. he'll since be like, Winter Brawl okay. 2016. This is <laughs> this is actual Jupiter when we tell him this. Yo, what's Summit, man? Yeah, <laughs> literally, that's that's his, that's his actual well, answer. Well, Matt, uh, you got you got um, voted into Summit. Um, cool. I don't know. I, I honestly, you know, I don't have you an know answer. If Jax gets announced. You know he's gonna play Jax. Yeah. Until Jax is ass again. Yeah, he'll still try it. Yikes! Yeah. I know. All right. Um. So, so who do you guys think is gonna get voted in? Um, okay, so I'll just assume that the LCQ is going to be won by Rewind on the West Coast. Ooh, yeah, we, we actually didn't think about those. So I think, I think, I don't want to, like, skip ahead, but West Coast, I think, in comparison to East Coast, is slacking. It's free. It's because free. No, it's free. It everybody, everybody that me and Big D talk to, um, which is a lot of people, are going to be going to uh, NLBC. NLBC. You guys might have heard of it. <laughs> and that is going to be the scariest tournament of all time. Oh. Because oh, yeah. everyone has a couple of weeks for the Everybody biggest opportunity is. of their potential lives. Good fucking yeah. luck, buddy. So, call out on work. I think, let, let's assume everybody on the West Coast stays on the West Coast. It's not happening. But I'll say Rewind takes the West Coast and then East Coast, good luck. GL. Because yeah, there's everybody. There's like, I, okay, I'm not that much of a threat yet, but like, ah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down. Maybe, maybe Bio will go. Destroyer lives there. Gur, Rio, if he decides to play. Rio. Any of the Dominican brothers, if any of you remember who those people are, uh, Samij, anybody from Florida with a brain, like that. That tournament whoa, is going to whoa, be CD, whoa. CD Monet. There aren't yeah. many. I know there aren't many, but the ones with brains are going to fly up. Like, everybody will be there. Even if people, like, who you don't expect, like, Magician might go, like, everybody. Costner, it doesn't matter if it can fit too many people. Like, people are going to go. Like, this is, like, this is savage times. No one cares. Everybody from OD is going to be there. So, like, I'm actually far more worried about LBC than I am Wednesday Night Fights. Yeah. Actually, I bet you any amount of money the OG boys are going to go to West Coast instead. You know what? I've... They've done it before. Too easy yeah. to go into Seattle? What was oh, yeah. it? We, or or was it, it full auto? I can remember. It, it was too there. easy. It was too, it was easy. too easy. And it was smart, actually, for he him works, to go. I think he works for airlines. Oh, it was... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. dude. dude t- t- first off, too easy was... I want to say... And this, I'm just going to wait back at that for no goddamn reason on this. He was one of the best at marketing himself to organizations and, like, going to certain places and getting results consistently. That too easy was, like... Low key, a god at like self promotion and 
getting Absolutely. getting where he wanted to be. He was actually really good at that back in MKX. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe even a little bit ahead of his time. He was really good with orgs and uh, making himself look good on paper. It was incredible. Yeah. Too easy. Props. Yeah. Um. um I think yeah, Sinead will take it in NLBC. <laughs> That, that's a hard but like i know Sydney is hard, not but... like but like that like this is like i don't know new york alone new york is insane and also then... this is a brand new game with only a couple of weeks mm -hmm. this is gonna be sad yeah anybody perfect. can get cooked by not even random, a couple thing. weeks this comes it's a week it's, it's one it, april 23rd oh my God. It's, it's one on week april, it's, it's on may 1st okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, one week, week with the game let, let me tell you something one week with the game gave gave me a top eight at a, at, at a major let that sink in I got I, I got fourth at the very first in, Injustice Major because it was a week after it came out. It made me look good. Someone's gonna get upset. I mean, there's gonna be upsets. Like, I think for voting though, let's just assume Samij gets voted in. Like, whatever. I, I think I I think Rewind will win West Coast. I agree yeah. with that. Uh, especially if Rewind gets voted in, you know Samij will get voted in. Like, yes, yeah, Samij will get voted in if he doesn't win. Making sure that yeah. we'll just go to Samij instead. Yeah. Um, you have three more. Honestly, like the low key pick, it like Destroyer's community is diehard. Oh, yeah. I would not be that's surprised if he got voted in. He has an amazing eligible. stream. It, yeah, if that's eligible. true. If he if he's eligible because if he didn't do anything in Injustice, he, but yeah. he he did really well in Mortal Kombat, and I wanted to yeah. bring up that this yeah. summit is a Mortal Kombat summit, and it seems like Mortal Kombat matters more. Than injustice, I'm just gonna say it. it. That's what that's the way it seems. Yeah, I don't know. Um, which which is why, and I'll bring it up, which is why you may not see someone like Rewind there who did this for Mortal Kombat. Nothing. Yeah, because yeah, he came at that the is, end of the game. That is life, not a blow right? up. So. He has he has on paper nothing for Mortal Kombat ever. Interesting. Then let me ask you something. Would it be a surprise if Theo is not a part of the voting phase? If it's only by MK results, then I wouldn't be surprised. But he can't really, yeah. he can't Dude, really be in there then. Right? If, if it's going by MK results, somebody like me can be voted in, like thirteenth place god. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, true, at actually. that point too, like to you know, Toxin, Toxin, Toxin could be put in there too. Ninth place boys. Ninth place boys. Yeah. Yep. God bless all of us top sixteeners for the rest of our lives. That was now. Hey man, that, I was before was, any of you were, guys. That. Those were good times. Uh, uh what? Two ninth places in a row at MK9. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Juan. Yeah, I, I, was, <laughs> I, was, a, I was an Owen. I was an Owen tour back in back in MK9. I'll admit it. Can we okay. talk about how Juan is getting PTSD right now? Thinking oh, about he has to about go ninth place. He, he knows. He knows. He knows all about this. Hey, uh, I this, still this I still have the sunglasses well. and water bottle that. I bought to support Juan for the yeah. Dragon Ball Summit of Power. Get body by Fox's <laughs> bank account, dude. That sucks. Yeah. No, Actually, it wasn't even that. It was uh, Moke that beat him. Yohoshi no, was wait. ahead of Moke. Wait, was she? Yes. Yeah, she she like skyrocketed. Oh yeah. She, oh, sky really? she was skyrocketed. She was way ahead of Moke. It was like Moke is like manager or something <laughs> like that. Deposited like a couple grand like God, right dude. before. That, That's that what I'm talking fun. about, dude. Our summit's gonna be nuts. Okay. Rewind actually actually brings up a point. He did get one MKX result after Injustice came out. Okay. Damn. Okay, yeah. dude. You're right about right. that. Well, um, I think I think Rewind deserves to be there. I think Rewind uh, is. We like all do. Said. I think yeah. I Nothing think he's gonna Rewind. win. Rewind. I want to yeah. see you there. I want to see Rewind there. Yeah. I'm just I'm just spitting facts. Let's yeah. put it this way. I Rewind. Assume That's you're not in the voting phase. And just kill it at he's gonna cook. Wednesday night fights. Yeah, he's, he, cook. he's already had a little bit of time with the game. And then he's gonna have the beta. And then he's gonna have the game when it comes out for a week. This dude's a god. A he's, gonna, yeah. he's gonna, he's gonna, he, yeah. Early. Uh, we yeah, kind of talk about that. that. Uh, mm. uh, uh, you're right, you're right. You're right. Uh, uh, and he's gonna, he's yeah. gonna, he's gonna win the West Coast, free. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna bring up a point really quick. Uh, New Gava in the chat said that, like, Jay Wong and Flo are really good at Day One characters. Jay Wong is um, really good in our games, Day One. I, I don't know if you were around in MK9, but they were in the finals at the PDP tournament. They were. That was eight, that was eight years ago, and that it's not something that'll happen again. Like, they're great. Fighting game players, but you need to realize Flo does not travel at all. J1 did well MKX day one. 
He yeah, did. he definitely did. He cooked that eight-year-old kid with heavy weapons jacks. I remember that. He also had a he also had a six-frame mid uh, meter building Raiden at the time. Yeah, good but, times. But again, day one, find yeah, exactly. find the broke shit. Um, insert solid fundamentals, and it's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a recipe for success in this game. And I, I will agree that okay, I want to agree. I want to see upsets. I, I love of upsets. Course. I I against the grain. Segue into the next argument. I'm very welcoming to seeing other people from other scenes try to do well mm -hmm. in this game, and I think it's a game where they can't do well. Looking at how fun fundamentally sound the game is from a design standpoint. It does look really good, and I'm really excited to see how it goes. This is going to be really interesting this summit because it's going to see who learns the quickest. It's not about yeah. it's it's all like remember how last time we spoke about the ten v ten with Texas versus Florida. It's not necessarily about who's the better players at the time, even though it's going to play a big factor into it. It's about this is gonna it's gonna be yeah. really cool to kind of see this you know unfold, and that's gonna leave room jank. for upsets too. Yeah, week one. And week two are like jank city. Dude. Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, even month, even month one will probably be like. Never forget my Black Adam yes. jank yes. city. Yes. Thank you, Nether Realm. <laughs> Black Thank Adam you. at the corner, dude. Sure. Yeah, dude, what side that. did I hit on? I have no idea. I don't know. Dude, the best. <laughs> you hit with dive kick on this side and they get this in their body, and then you end up here and dive kick back this way. You'll hold that. I, I just press the buttons, man. Like. <laughs> All right, uh, real quick before we segue into into some drama, uh, I want to ask each each one of you, who who would you, if you could pick one person that might be kind of a surprise pick, who who do you want to see there? As like a like getting voted in. Yeah, yeah, getting voted in. Give me give me a surprise. You know, yeah, not 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 who you think is going to get voted in, who you want to get voted in. Like from anybody? Yeah. Or oh, okay. Yeah, any, anyone. I'm gonna say, I would love to see Mr. Rio there. Give him, give him Cabal and and and. Oof. Um, get back to me on that. I have to think about that. There's okay. a couple names in my head, but I have to I have to pick one. The one pick that came to my head. Okay, I'm not gonna say Brady because no, but I, I would love to see Maxter because he was one of my favorite people back in MK9 and Maxter was feisty and 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 he, he still was is amazing. feisty if you've tuned into Twitter lately. Yeah, I have to. That came really. out of nowhere. That was an RKO on all of us. That, that was that was one of my names, to be honest. But I love some, him. Uh, I'll <laughs> think of somebody else. Um, I didn't know who Amanda's gonna say. Huh? Is you it, said you it? already know who I'm gonna say. Yeah. No, you don't. I'm like I'm thinking about it. Like okay. one of the first people to come to my mind was actually like uh, Illusions, just because Ooh. I liked him as a player. That's a good pick. Um. I think because there's like people that don't play anymore. Like Peanut, I don't think plays anymore. No, he's a married Peanut, man. Yeah, Life. Peanut. Peanut was somebody that I always thought was pretty good. Do you want? Do you want to know who the low it's surprising? The oh, low key god pick, dude. I want to see Madsen. Oh, I want Madsen in. The, that's the out of the wood. You actually have to pick. grab him out of the grave and yank his corpse up. Bro, and then, he said and then we're going to hold him to it. He said if Noob Cybot is in MK11 he will come back for that. So let's pray to the Elder World Elder. gods. The Elder Gods? That The Elder Gods, yeah. Let's, play, let's pray to the that Elder Gods. That, that's a really good that, thing. That Noob is in so that I mean... Lord Madsen of Germany comes back. That's a damn he's definitely now. not. He's. Not, I don't. I don't. Dude, see Madsen him. would be hyped to have him like the he summit house with people, he and he'd be representing the EU. They have to get liability insurance. Well, they're gonna have Foxy <laughs> represent the EU, but like him and Madsen would be like bros there, so it'd be it'd be good to have him. So. I agree. Madsen's great. Um, Dude, nobody is ever gonna forget him fucking throwing that chair during injustice. Throwing the chair, cussing everyone out. Yep. A lot of, I will a lot say of a surprise pick that I would like to see. Not that a personality. Oh God, cool, said CD money. But more so his gameplay, and since Tyrant is in being an MK9 OG, I'm gonna say Detroit Ballin. Ooh. I know that name. You know how I know that name? Detroit. Detroit Ballin was in my pools at 2016 Evo. 
Yeah. He, was he in actually my- played MKX. He got 13th yeah. at Evo in 2015. Yep, he did. Yeah, he was in my pool in 2016. Yeah. Okay, like, I- sorry, another OG that just left the scene and, you know, was so good. He was in his prime. Detroit Ballin was in his prime at that apex of yeah. the game where, yeah, where, really where, 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 where won sh- tournaments he's won an mlg before back yep. in the he, day. he won nec yep with shang when nobody yeah. knew what the fuck shang yeah. was and, Sh- and shang was busted shang was sick dude yo job let's you. go yo yo, job, yo. put in job day one. yeah go. evo 2011 dude like 20 20- yeah online my vocals for uh online tony Cabal's back. Let's... Yo, Tony T, let's Tony go. Tony T. Tony T, yeah. He was right wasn't, right. wasn't Tony T a part of the Fatal 8? He was, actually. He was, <laughs> he was with uh, Raiden yeah. and got cooked. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you know, a, 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 a lot of these personalities and great gamers could be great picks. And I'm, mm-hmm. I I just want to see who else makes it. And I'm, I'm going to say yeah. I'm excited for everyone that's that's in. Uh, it's it's yeah, going to be a absolutely. great show. It's going to be absolutely great. It's going to be a really good show. Like, even though I went on a whole thing about Tyrant, like, it's going... Like, everyone there is going to put on a show. Like, yeah, that, totally. That's the truth. There's no one there that just seems super out of place as far as their skill level. Yo, goes. put Zyfox in there, dude. Zyfor, dude? <laughs> Uh, Z- Zyfox, who... who uh, guys, go, go on Twitter. Uh, hit up Zyfox. He has extra beta codes for he MK11. Does. He got... By the way, Zyfox, thank you for giving me mine. Yep, yeah, I got, yeah, I got, I got my two. He, 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 he always hooks up the elite of the scene with those yeah. beta codes, but, but, but he always has extras. But, but you have to DM him, and you have to, you have to add him on Twitter. Otherwise, you're not going to get those beta codes from Zyfox, guys. Yeah. yeah. Actual fact. I mean, he did the same thing for Injustice Two, so Injustice yeah, Two, exactly. And MKX, if I remember correctly, it went back. I think he did. Yeah, when GGPO came out. Yep. Legend. Dude. Actual, God, actual man. legend of the scene. Everyone, hit up, hit up Zyfox for that. Shout outs, shout out to that man, the, a legend, an actual treasure of our scene, <laughs> Mister, Mister, Mister Yomi Zyfox. I think Yomi's still on his name. That's a treasure right there. God bless, dude. God bless. DM, DM him a lot. Says Pig of the. Hot. DM him a lot, dude. Oh my yeah, he might God. not get the first one, so just keep trying. All right. Yeah. That that that's what Summit is. And let's shift to. A certain, well, not a certain, but drama that unfolded because of the leaked list of who was in the summit. Um, Big D, if if you want to go ahead and start us off on this one. Okay. So this next segment, we're going to be talking about Chris G and uh, the rant that he streamed, streamed it live. I'm sure most of us, you know, we all... For the most part, saw it. I'm sure everyone yeah. in the chat saw it. Um, a lot of things wrong with it. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not I'm not here to talk down to country <laughs> or, you know, call him out or do any dumb shit like that. But the level of fucking misinformation and degeneral or just generalization as a whole, this false just portrayal of what the scene was. <clears throat> Not only was it super unfair, it was unjustified. It really yep. was unjustified because he was sitting there saying that the whole scene is toxic and, you know, and no one wanted to see him there and everyone thought he was undeserving and they started naming all these scenes, but like hundreds of people, a lot of us, them. hundreds, a lot of way. us agreed, you know, we could, yeah. we can also, we actually agreed that Chris G deserved to be in there, but Tweety went off on Chris G on Twitter, and then a few other people went off on Chris G. A lot of nameless faces, you know, Twitter eggs, anime, anime avatars, avatars, whatever. Yeah. But Animu. he took that as like, okay, so now this is the entire scene that is against me on this, which is bullshit because it's not true. It wasn't true. Um, and the fact that not only did he go through this rant in its entirety... There's two things that were wrong with it, and I was there watching it. Besides what he was saying, Silver Eye was one of the few that was uh, calling him out on it. Like, yo, I want to hear names. If you're going to say everybody, start saying names. Dude got hit with a swift ban. Ban hammer immediately. Ban. Gone immediately, no chance to defend himself. The only thing more disgusting than that is that everyone else that I was watching, like notable names that were in the chat, 
were agreeing with Chris. Like, yeah, get him out of here. Like, all these other people that are sticking up for Chris, even though he's being super generic and not giving any examples whatsoever. Besides, he kept saying, like, oh, here's another quote. And he keeps pulling up quotes. They were all from the same fucking person. It was, it was all Tweety and, like, one other person. That he kept pulling stuff up. He's like, oh, look. Look what the NRS community is doing. Look how toxic they are. It was bullshit. It was actually bullshit to sit there and, like, listen that. to all that go down. Do I understand that he's upset? Yes, I understand that he's upset. But for someone of his tournament experience who's been around so long, that all of a sudden doesn't have thick skin blows my mind. It blows my mind to think that he could look at one person who doesn't have half the accomplishments he does. I'm talking about Tweety. That's not a jab. That's facts. Chris G has done a ton of shit over the years. Looking at what Tweety was saying, in addition to, like, a couple of followers that no one, you know, you can't even, you don't even remember their names. Why, why is he letting that get to him? And then why are you targeting a whole scene based off of that? That's crazy. I know. I just I was beside myself to watch that reaction. And then th there's also the the, the 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 duplicitous edge of his rant, which was the other half being um, a very large number of women in the community, and not just NRS. This is where people get misconstrued. They're like, "Oh, the NRS women attacked him." No, a lot of women went after him for what he has said in the past. Um, yeah, he was he was name dropping Cuddlecore also. Yes, yep. yeah. That. Um, so oh. that th that was also something that 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 re came up, and a lot of people, way more people, voiced their opinion about that than I thought about the the Tweety nonsense. And so what ended up happening, guys, um, is that Chris G was invited to the summit and is no longer at the summit, and we don't know why. So we're not too sure what the reasonings were behind any of this. Um, it's just speculation at this point, but there there, there was a yeah. lot to Chris G. And that, that was the second half of that stream was, you know, his past being brought up as well. Um, that 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 could have been a big part of it. We, we have no idea. But so it's many people. Yeah, so many people after yeah. that stream and before that stream, a lot of community leaders from other scenes and just just a lot of a lot of people seem to put a put that negative spin on the NRS scene um and and not 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 necessarily like directly but by doing certain things that I felt and this is why I got so opinionated on Twitter is that I saw them taking it as an opportunity to kind of um Lloyd or or you know like like be be above us they they they, they took yeah. it they took it as an opportunity to sit there and say, "Oh, NRS scene, you you guys need to do this. You you guys are incredibly toxic. You're unwelcoming. Uh, be better." Is what so many leaders went out there and said about our scene after this, and almost everything that 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 they said that is wrong with our scene and needs to be fixed it are issues that are FGC wide, not just NRS wide. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, I can I can name you so many goddamn opportunity or so many goddamn instances where I've 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 tried to go into other scenes, and have just been obliterated. Yeah. Um. With with negativity and unwelcomeness, because I'm a Mortal Kombat guy or or you know a anything really, and I I've never gone out there and said, oh, this is this, it's it the Capcom scene's fucked. Yeah. You know, or, or or something like that, and I I felt like it was bad to generalize us and um, isolate us as yeah. as the source of uh, to toxicity in the FGC when it's the entire FGC, and uh, you know I, I I had to call that out and that that was utter bullshit for other leaders to take that as an opportunity to say, oh guys, you guys are fucking up. Here's how you fix it. Fix your own goddamn scene. Look at it. Look at the Capcom drama right now. Yeah, imagine get imagine have a drama where you get static rooting for a friend. Let's hold on. Let's not make this 
uh, NetherRealm versus Capcom thing, it's, regardless oh, yeah. of yeah, what we not, think about like, it. You though. have to understand if they're calling but, us toxic. Like, I, it, you but can't, here's the thing: everyone. The thing is, is they're having their drama. That doesn't mean that they're toxic. There's just toxic people that are within their scene. I'm not exactly, but which is what, which is what our it's argument was it's essentially. Yeah. That's the yeah. issue. That is 100 yeah. percent the issue. If we're not, I haven't seen anyone seriously from NRS go towards them when that stuff was going on and be like, "Wow, look how." talks that the street fighter community is no one has seriously done that um, no. but the moment we have some stuff going on we yeah, they come in a so. bunch of community leaders yeah. that's not fair so so, so so my my argument on this whole thing is that the fgc has all these issues and it's it's, it's a it's, it's a collective thing and that it should not be directed towards solely us and you know us basically used at the end of the day as an example for for them or as a way for them to look good on twitter I yep. felt I I feel that's unfair and not, we don't have a lot of community leaders we don't have a lot of vocal community leaders um, our scene just doesn't you know our it doesn't exist our, in our community our our top players are not necessarily our leaders it's it's and, and and I'll agree with them I was I was kind of against it for a while but I'll agree it's it's, it's not on them to be you know it's uh -huh. it's that that shouldn't be a forced responsibility you know uh, it's 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 kind of a role that's that's taken in and yeah um, like. Um, I don't want to like talk yeah, over you, but yeah. like right, right, right after this happened, uh, some of you guys probably saw, but I made like a really long Twitter post about like how I felt about community leaders. And like, if you look at like the Street Fighter scene and Tekken and everything, their scenes have had like what twenty years to grow into something. People that were top players are now community leaders, like Vi, and he's doing great for their yeah. scene. The real NRS scene is eight years old, and our top players are very young, and, so and a lot of OGs are gone. Exactly. Oh, like oh, most oh, of the OGs most. are gone. So like it can you just imagine being like MKX comes out and you're you're dragon, right? You're like a 16-year-old kid and you just want to play a Mortal Kombat. So you go to a tournament and you start doing really well. And then you're 17, you're winning tournaments, whatever, and then random people are expecting you to be the face of the community when all you did was want to go to a tournament and play a game, and then you met friends and you played a game. Like People that feel entitled that like, oh, X person isn't doing X thing for me. They're not giving me games. They're not doing whatever. But most people, like if like a random person would message Dragon, Ryan, Rewind, anybody and ask them about the scene or like where they can get games, they'll tell them. But they're not doing things like you can't expect a 19 year old kid to be like running tournaments and shit than playing in his own thing. Like. It's just not something that exists for NRS yet, specifically. But yeah. then you have to add into the question, what makes a community leader? Yeah, that, you know, that's What, what gives you insane. that title, and what are the requirements of being a community leader? Because then, then you have to understand like what that is. We don't even have a, a solid definition of what a community leader is. 80% of our community looks at a top player like, oh, well, looks like he's a leader now. Got a top eight? He's a leader now. Like That's, it's, yeah, basically that's the thing. That. It shouldn't just be about your it's skill good. level. It should be about your reach, your engagement with people, your support of the scene. Like, yep. you know, it, it's, it's everything all, all factors together. Right. Yeah. together. Do you go to tournaments? You know, you don't have to get top eight, but do you go? Do you socialize with these people mm -hmm. you know do you do you know your community that is all really important stuff mm -hmm. yeah that's the biggest thing and i feel a lot of the people that bring up community leader issues um this might be like touchy in the way i word this uh they they don't travel yes. anywhere that's i mean not that but <laughs> they, they don't they don't travel but like you need to realize that like if you're just posting on the internet, you're definitely part of the community. But if you're giving input on something that happens at an event that you will never go to, like that, it's two separate things. Like offline community, online community, yes, they mingle, whatever. But like at an offline tournament, we like whatever some random dude on Twitter says that it's never going to go, it literally does not affect me who travels to everything. So like, it, you can't be like, this guy needs to be the community leader and that's it. But you're literally only going to stay home forever. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, it's not someone else's responsibility for you to go outside your house, to go to a tournament, to go to a local. And whatever your excuse may be, I understand not everybody can travel, but that's nobody else's fault. So, like, we can't control what you want to do or need to do. Like, you just have to hold that. If you travel, you travel. Like, 
Yeah. I don't know. It, it's the bottom line is that it's not any one thing, and yeah. that it, we, we're all going to need to eventually come to a conclusion and an agreement on what makes a community leader and what do we expect out of them, and then we can actually decide who's actually a leader. You can't just look yeah. at someone who everyone likes, like, oh, well, he's definitely a leader. Like, there's people that it does. The leader doesn't need to be someone you like. It has to be someone you respect. Yeah. And then yeah. that I agree. you respect. So it's not like, Absolutely. oh, everybody loves this person. He's our leader. Like, no, that's not how it works. In no. any situation, that's not how it works. So. Not at all. Also, if you think all you're seeing is negativity in our scene, just go look up the hashtag NRS community help me when. You'll see, like, oh, absolutely. Nothing, a ton nothing of below. stories. Yep. Even from no. people you may consider outside of our community, oh, like yeah. Ultra David's multiple posts about our community. Chime yeah. In. Yep. It's, it's, all it's, those it's, people, it's been, all their voices matter. It's been incredible, yeah. and all of us can tell you our own stories of getting into the scene and, and what yeah, it means exactly. for us, uh, being in it for a long time, and it's 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 family at this point. Every tournament feels like a family reunion. It's that's how fucking awesome it is. Yep. Um, guys, this th th this scene's incredible, and 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 that's why that's why some of us are so vocal in defending it, um, and yeah. may not come across, you know, you know, you know, not the best at wording, but I try my best to go on Twitter and and. And defend us, and like I said, I I felt like I needed to there, um, just vocally and say, hey, you know, even though, you know, I'm not shitting on other communities, I'm just saying it's a it, it was a universal issue, it's not just an an NRS issue, and that I will, you know, I was like basically fuck, you know, stop s stop isolating us in that in that way, you know. Um, yeah. I felt I felt personally offended, and I, I I hope that the scene was like I said we don't have the leaders that, that that are really vocal like that, and that's something that I would like to see. But again, we're a very young scene. We're only yeah. uh what eight like eight, eight, eight coming eight, up on eight years eight, realistically yeah, not even eight years coming up old. on on eight eight years old. Um, so yeah, you know, and all of all of our OGs are and who who we may have thought were community leaders as they were developing, um, are gone and. You know, a lot of people are, are in and out here and there, and that's just the way it is. But guys, our scene is incredible. And if you're watching this, the NRS scene is absolutely incredible. We do have yeah. bad, we do we do have bad eggs just like everybody else. We do have drama just like every other scene. We have toxicity just like every other scene. Name me one video game that doesn't have toxicity. Name me one goddamn video yeah. game. Oh, no, you're it's right, man. On this planet, no, it's true. If I can, there's toxicity in Minesweeper. Minesweeper. Oh my god, dude. The throwback. Um, and if I can add to anything, like you're talking about community leaders and how we don't necessarily maybe have the ones that will be, is we see like a lot of people like Destroyer even right now, like we were talking about him. He, he's somebody that already is building this like big community of his own, let alone like people now like know his name like everywhere. So it's like he, he has potential to someday rise to that, whether he wants to be a top player or not. You know, so it's like yeah. it, there, there's always a chance for you to try. It's just about the effort that you put in. Are you actually working? Like, are you are you working towards a goal? Are you are you doing a community effort? Uh, those things are all very important. Yeah, um, I'll just add in one more thing. Uh, if anybody in the chat has never gone to a tournament and you're thinking about it, like, Please do. Even if, if you, yeah, you definitely should go. Like, it doesn't matter if you think you're bad. It, it literally, it doesn't matter. Like my first tournament was NEC 2011. I bust from Canada by myself to my first end of country tournament for 12 hours to room with people I've never met before. And it was one of the best experiences of my life. Like actually, like, I was there. Dude, I, I, that was a best I, experience yeah, for me. Yeah, I roomed with Dan Cock and Revolver and Ooh. Storm. <laughs> people I've never met before, right? But Ooh. somehow, like even when I was there, like people knew who I was. Like Pig was a big name back then, even before he blew up with Kenshi and everything. And he knew who I was, I, which I was like really surprised that somebody knew who I was, right? So like literally just go offline. You can ask anybody for casuals ever and they'll play. Like, yeah. You don't get that everywhere. You know, was, cool Pig was very us. good about that too. And, uh, and so many of our members are good about paying attention to streams online and, and, you know, online things and, you know, pretty much doing their homework on 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 the who's everywhere um and being very welcoming like do, do you know how many people i met during like the injustice pro series for, for the very first time coming off from playing online only uh going to their first event and i i can't imagine 
from Jura's standpoint, you know, showing up like that and a lot of, like Tigers going to his first offline event, Titanium Tigers. We all know who Titanium Tigers is because of online. Right? Yep. And yep. Go, going offline and all of us are like, oh, what's up, Tigers? Like that for the for your, for your very first time. That that would be incredible. It's a lot easier now too. Yeah, like, it is a lot easier. If now. you if you just show up on somebody's stream and you're relatively good and you go to a tournament, they're gonna be like, oh, this guy's going to a tournament. And then once you put a face to a name, it's the easiest thing for you to meet people because they've seen you play. So now you're a face to the favorite character they enjoy watching, and that's it. Yeah, back then, back then it was watching all the locals that happened around the country and well around around the world, and now yep. it's now it's watching all these online events and personal streams, getting getting a feel for all these killers that are out there online. And so I think I think Pig, Pig really was one of the few uh, early on to set that precedent of of, oh, that, of that of that of that of that see all because that, mm -hmm. that yeah. that's something that's that's passed along to all of us, including myself, where I try to keep tabs on everyone. Yeah, and, exactly. and that really helps when you meet new people. And Jura's point is, go to your first offline. If you're if you have cold feet, jump right in. We're very welcoming, and it's just a great experience. I, I went zero and two for years traveling, and and it was all about the yeah. experience. Um, I'm not sure what you mean how some players treat the casuals, but I feel like you might be thinking about other people that could just be either bad eggs in the community or like, or, or, or just people that, that aren't that social and that, that will happen or, or people that are incredibly focused on winning because, because that is an aspect to traveling to a tournament and competing is staying very focused. And a lot of players are like that, or might just, like I said, may not be social. Yeah, yeah, people also need to understand that, like, if someone's worrying about or thinking about their pool or, like, worrying about their next match and you're asking them for casuals and they tell you no, that's, that's also reason. not us being toxic. Don't be offended. Yeah. Like, at all. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't take that as a negative. At the end of the day, there are reasons why someone might say no. And that's not as a jab to anybody. That's just straight up saying, like, if they... If they're getting ready to go eat, or if they promise someone else casuals and you just caught them at a bad time, or you go up to say hi to them after they lose a tournament match. That, uh, don't do that. One yep. of the best. Yep. Do not do but it. You have yeah. to understand that every everybody's human and sometimes you can't you can't always suppress your emotions one hundred percent. So when exactly. you ask for casuals after someone gets knocked out of a tournament, maybe they don't want to play casuals. You yeah. know, it's hard. it's all about that. But I will tell you, as sure as I'm sitting here. I play casuals hours and hours and hours at my first offline tournament with zero issues. Zero issues when no one knew who I was, when I went under a different tag and everything, I got casuals in. I had a chance to, they even let me into the room where uh, it was VSM versus GGA in that hotel room at Fight Around. When I had, I was a no name. They were like, yo, like they were kicking people out. And they were trying to, like, shove everyone out. I just stood there. They're like, no, nah, you're cool. You can stay in. Don't worry about it. I was like, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Everyone there was super nice. It's just, it's all about your perspective, and it's all about timing. It, yeah. It, at the end of the day, it's a huge factor. Like, if you come up to anybody in this call or anybody else at Combo Breaker, and it's, like, 2 a.m., and for whatever reason you want to play casuals, and we're biased setup, oh do you think any God. of us are going to say no? Well, first of all, do not oh. come on to me at 2 a.m. because um, I, I'll be in a different that's state. Where Jared, that's where Jared at that point. was last year. Like, okay. Okay. He, was, he was playing. I he was playing casuals with Decay. I I all at, I like, did 2 last time Breaker, yeah, was like I drowned in tournament because I didn't care. I just drank and hung out with my friends, and then Decay came up. I was like, "Hey, man, do you want to play casuals?" So I was like, "Whatever, I'm here." And then we played for like four hours, and it was like three in the morning, like. <laughs> It happens. Even in a game I don't oh. like playing anymore, I will play if somebody asks me to play, dude. Like, I don't care. I want to play games with everybody. Especially okay. especially at Majors, like, in the beginning is, like, that's, like, the golden opportunity to literally just play. You Don't even introduce yourself. Just come out to me and be like, yo, you want to play? And I'm like, I'm down. Because Combo Breaker especially, everyone's there to play casuals. 24-hour 24 24-hour venue, venue oh. always there. Also, guys... Yeah, shout out to Rick. Quick, quick tip. Do not be afraid to walk up to two Hollywood fucks sitting down and playing a casual set to walk up and go... I got next. Those are sacred words in the FCC. Yeah. They just they, do it. Yeah. If they don't abide by next, tell one of us so we can. No, call we're getting their ass up. Yeah. And, or, or and, and, and one of them's getting up. 
You can pull a gross and say money match. Unless oh, it's a money match. M money 2012 match 12 gross. Money match voids voids all rules. That's, Before that's, I knew that's him, a different thing. The, the, all the stories I've heard. Actually, I have an I have an example about this. So at 2012 uh, MLG Dallas, um, for any like super OGs, nobody's gonna remember this name, but Killer Nazis. It was his first major ever. No, he was standing. He was standing. He was a TOM guy. He was standing behind a setup that Pig Pig was playing on with somebody, right? And I'm like, oh, hey, dude, do you want to play? And he's like, yeah, but I'm just waiting for Pig. And I was like, yo, Brant, get up after this game. And he was just like, okay. They both got up and we played. Like, it was like, that was it. Like, we now we're not going to sit here and, and disregard the idea that people are set up hogs. They do. Oh, exist. 100%. Oh, that's that. You just got to shut them down. Low key, everyone is. Okay, yeah. I think all of us are set up hogs. You just gotta heart. assert yourself. But but yeah, yeah. you you, you got to be assertive, and and it, it takes a long, it takes a lot. I w I've been in that boat. You've all been in that boat. Even to this day, I will walk in there as this Hollywood fuck that has been bestowed upon me, uh, through through casting. I will walk up and see like, uh, rewind and someone playing and actually be like, shit, should I call next? And like actually second guess myself because they're Hollywood uh. as shit. I'm telling them straight. I'm like, they, got a, they, gotta get they up. got a pool coming up. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know if I should, but that's guys, another thing too. Yeah. If they're warming up for a pool, leave them be. Yep. So, yeah, so because... the, the, there are factors that come into play, but yeah, but guys, again, I don't care who it is. Try just, just say I got next. Um, the, those are hard words to get out, get them out, get those casuals in, meet people, talk to them. Playing casuals with people is how you meet so many people. Um, just getting to talk to Easiest them. Easiest way. Yeah, mid Easiest way. because because you're not going to sit there and take a casual as serious as a tournament match. Some people might, right. but you know, most of us are very casual talking, getting to know the guy, or or telling him why you're uh, destroying him. Well, yeah, that's my favorite one, actually. Yeah, just be like, just be like, you know, hey, 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 that's 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 plus twenty five. Don't don't press the button, or you know. <laughs> Little, right. uh, little things so, like that, but it's also a great way to learn. We yeah. go to the next. Which segues in to talking about the next one being Combo Breaker, by the way. Make sure you register. Register, register for Combo Breaker. Uh, 24-hour venue has always been an incredible event for NRS games. Rick has always treated us with the highest caliber um, of respect and Good God. luck finding a hotel room. Bless that man. Yeah, good luck. With the oh, room. yeah, you're but, cooked. But there are a lot of hotels within a, 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 a mile or two, so Ubering is, is very cheap. Um, registration is open. Uh, if I had the link on me, I'd post it in, in the chat, but, you know, so, j just Google Smash GG Combo Breaker or, or just ComboBreaker.org yep. is their website. Go to there and just click registration. It'll, it'll, it'll take you to the link. Um, it's in Chicago, centrally located for all of us here in North America. Mm -hmm. um, flights there are really cheap. I know, I know for, for most people, um, except mm -hmm. for EU, scare tactics in the air saying it gets Girl. it gets pricey because it's on a more it's on a holiday weekend. Ooh. It's cheap. Oh. Atlanta it's cheap tickets a hundred round one hundred round trip. Yeah, that's dirt. It's yeah. cheap for me too. It's like three hundred round trip now. for yeah. Canada. Like, so, so, for me, it costs three hundred. But but buy your ticket early. Cooked. Yeah, if you, oh, need, yeah if you need to find cheap flight tickets, I'm, yeah, I'm can, pretty. I'm actually really OD at that. So. Now, if you can't make, con there's it's the holy trinity of tournaments coming up. You have Combo Breaker, and then a month later you have CEO, and then a month later you Evo. have Evo. If you can only pick one, find the find the one that suits you financially, and you go because those are all going to be amazing tournaments, Phenomenal. All especially for the first year of the game. You owe oh, it yeah. to yourself to go to at least max five. entrance, max everything. I mean, for, for first year of all these games, I remember year one MKX, year one Injustice two, year one Injustice one, just absolutely incredible numbers, and it's it, it's an incredible opportunity. Everyone's learning together at those first few events. It's it's a really cool experience because it's that's I think that's the most social um, for us. And Combo Breaker is our first major step um, yeah. for everyone, not including Summit, uh, for MK eleven and. Right in the heart of NRS, I'm super excited for it. You know, Rick's gonna give us some good treatment. That that prime time stream, our own stage. You know, um, again, casuals all day long. If you guys are looking to to learn and get your foot into the competitive scene, that's probably the number one place to do it. Um, again, extended hours for casuals. Um, really good treatment. A really cool venue. There's a Walmart across the street. There's a there's a there's a Culver's across the street. 
there's... Yo, rest in peace, the old CEO venue when you have Wawa oh, right Wawa. there. I know. Wawa. Well, go to Wawa. see... Get anime. Wawa. Get anime and go to CEO Taku because it's still there. Wawa and Popeyes. It's like... Let me go get this yeah. amazing sandwich from Wawa, or let me go get some Popeye's fried chicken. This Bro, is this is a win-win. And there was Chili's right next door. Chili's there was, was there. Uh, there was that was really like that, good pizza there was, place. There was a Five Guys. There was a Mexican oh. joint. There was like fifteen places right there within walking distance of the old. But Cabo Breaker you, gets the deep dish pizza, so that's not does, bad. Either. There is a oh, and don't right go street? to Giordano's. Whatever. Don't go to Giordano's. Giordano's is pretty live. damn good. As somebody who lived in Chicago, Giordano's is just a chain. They're, hey. they're like they're like Pizza Hut Little Caesars of deep dish. It's pretty damn Whoa, good. They, God, oh, also, wow. dang, those that went. They're a respectable. Yeah, crowd, wow. To be honest, listen, 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 listen I've, I've had Giordano's and I, I and I've had a deep dish from Little Caesars. I've had Giordano's to too. <laughs> you, need to, you need to calm down. Those, those are two You need to have entities. in the city of Chicago either Luminati's, the original Uno, this downtown Chicago, or um, Equads. Pequod's. Pequod's makes like personal pan deep dishes for you, and they have caramelized onion crust. Oh god. That, great. that actually good. sounds god <laughs> What the <laughs> hell, dude? <laughs> yeah, I know my, I know my Chicago food, but, trust me. But, we, live there, we live there long enough to explore a lot of really good food places. But I didn't mind Giordano's. I thought it was it's not, is... it's not bad, but it's like you, you've had it here, and then yeah. you have the tiers that are like here, and yeah. you haven't had those yet. Yeah, but oh, here is, here's where Giordano's is easy to eat there, because Giordano's is really close to the venue, and downtown is... Like right. 30 minutes away. Yeah. Ease like a, of access like makes things Uber, so much or $50 better. Or $50 Uber. Yeah. Away. Yeah, the so, ease of access that Giordano's has makes Oh, that and better. go to Kuma's Corner. Kuma's oh, cool. is like metal burgers. All the burgers are themed after like metal bands. And they're Seriously? Huge. That's pretty cool. Yeah, That's yeah. Gone. Like, I, I had a yeah. dog chain. I, next my favorite too. one is Pantera, the Pantera, and it's like this, like. One with like bacon and avocado, I think, on it and stuff. I don't know. I mean, it's really it. good, dude. <laughs> so they, they, have, like, they, have a, they have the mastodon. They got Slayer. Yeah, you, got, you already sold me at like the theme of the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it's ready. sick. Yeah. Uh, what's that chili dog place next door as well? That's really good. Um, Portillo's. 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 Oh my goodness! Let me tell you guys, okay. that is some that is some good that's some good eats right there. Um, but yeah, that that is combo break in a nutshell. I do want to bring up Destroyer's next tournament. Yeah, we'll um, go over that really quickly. He has a two thousand dollar invitational, March twenty seventh. Um, mm -hmm. if if you if you go to if you go to Destroyer's Twitter at Destroyer FGC, it's his pinned tweet. Um, he, there are three qualifiers for it to get in. Um, links to all all three tournaments right there. I'll actually go ahead and post post a link to the. Uh, tweet in the chat. Right. Um, Two thousand yeah. dollars oh. is on the line for MKX right before MK11 drops. That's really good. Straight that's before the beta, according to what Hayate said in the yeah. chat, that's kind of sick. Actually, yeah, get in your MKX it's, it's degeneracy like fix real quick. It's, 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 <laughs> I believe the beta is what twenty eighth. So it's the day before something, something like, like that. that yeah. March twenty eighth. Yeah, because because that was on a Wednesday, and then the Thursday the beta drops. Um, if you feel like holding forward, man, right before you play footsies in MK11, enter that tournament. That's just gonna be godlike though. Forward, forward, right yeah. trigger. Footsies? Oh, God. Footsies. The return footsies. of footsies. Dude. I've never played footsies a day in my life, dude. Well, you're yeah, going to have to start. Well, my okay, my smoke and MKX is actually like... Okay, relax. Remember, Jer remember, when you, remember when you got... Remember when you got touched at round start into death? Jer, relax. We're talking about footsies and not 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 in infinities, okay? Well, okay, but the, the problem is you actually lost footsies once and you got hit, right? So I won... Footsies in that match. So hold Calm on. Calm down. Yeah, but what do you mean? You, like, you want to you want to poke me in the walk back one of these, dude? Like <laughs> you lose you lose footsies eight times and you're still alive. You, you, That's you, not my problem. <laughs> That's a you problem for playing rain. <laughs> Seriously, I played. This All right, game. no insulting rain. <laughs> hold up, I played this man at the last combo breaker in a long casual set, and I outplayed him almost every goddamn game. All, all, all right, it but, took was one. <laughs> when, Aquaman, when's the Injustice one side tournament? Okay. Yes. Nice. Combo so my, my back girl? First off, no one wants it. The last Injustice one side tournament, I almost beat everybody. Yeah, CEO, that's a, I don't know. 
CEO a couple years ago. I I cooked I I cooked Florida like the entirety of Florida back to back to back. I, I took out White Boy Deg, a bu- oh, bunch crazy of crazy shit, dude. Yep, lo- Texas all the way, brother. Okay, go on. Okay, Texas, relax, dude. Texas. We're, dude, dude, you guys said we have it's not even on the script. You guys are about to get fucking cooked. Like it's uh, not even gonna Oh be my pressure. god. But we're not we're on not that note. Out. This has been the new outward. <laughs> <laughs> we right. have one more thing to talk about. One more? I'm gonna we're, try to grab it. We have a video. Yep. Do you, do you have it up? Oh yeah, grab the video. We I'm wanted to working go on. ahead and show off um Darth Arma's vocal. He put together this video. Uh, he's setting up, I'm assuming, is like this big, I guess, is it a weekly Local, or anything? Yeah. I don't know much about it. Yeah, uh, yeah. if you're in the tri-state area, you know, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, this is all in pretty reasonable distance for you. Delaware. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, there's, there's Lincoln chat, and, and I'm going to see if, okay, it is working. All right, hold on, let's see. Yeah, I posted. We're going to show it to you really quick. And I'm going to play And it. we promise we won't talk during it. Yep, I'm going to play it on. Mom? There it is. You got it? Yep, got it. Yeah, oh my god, ASMR. Wait, is it playing? Do I stop talking? Okay. Hey guys, my name is Miguel, but you might already know me as Darth Arma. And this is my wife, Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Hi. Hey, Chelsea. And we're here to tell you about a new concept that we've been working on. That concept is Mortal Kombat New Jersey. <laughs> okay. But first, I want to talk about who we are. Collectively, there are five of us working and involved with this new project, Ooh, and we consist of long-time fighting game community <sighs> We're having that members, little kid. He was godlike. Newer members, tournament organizers, Still around. bracket runners, and of course, competitors. Who's the hot dog? We've NRS games for the past eight years or so, <laughs> starting with Mortal Kombat 9, and have all competed in different tournaments. Who's that girl casting? And attended various different events. I don't now, think I've seen her before. A grill. A new level. Boss. Grill. We'll take the next step into helping me <laughs> oh, So if you okay, are in the New Jersey or New York City area, we want to hear from you. We want to know who you are and what you're all about. And we want to let you know about this new local event that we've been organizing. We'll be running our first event in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, the date of that event quick, is guys. going to be March 9th, and the details will be provided in the description below. This location is around two blocks away from the Newark Broad Street Station, a station that's Those easily accessible from both Penn Station in New York and Penn Station in Newark. You yeah, actually did a really also, good job with this. from New Jersey yeah. by car. Street parking is easy and free. We're trying to make it as easy as possible for people in the New Jersey or New York City area to come to this new local event. But in order to get the word out, the first step into helping us is to join our Facebook page. I hate that he's wearing Injustice outfits. And follow our Twitter. See Injustice 1 shirt sure and then Injustice 2 buddy. That's all they gave us. They didn't give a shit for Mortal Kombat. Let us know what I know. you think. What you I have an like ESL. I have two ESL shirts. Or what you would like to see in future events. What we're trying to do is the offline competitive community. We want locals to come back, and we want this area to be a strong contender in the fighting game realm of Mortal Kombat 11 when that comes out this April. So, LC, again, LC's there making sure he doesn't mess up. Let or us she's going to beat him over the head. And we look forward to playing <laughs> Mortal Kombat with you. Thank you, Miguel. Guys, Mortal Kombat New Jersey. Follow them on Twitter. Um, I put, Go to that event. I put a link to that um youtube video in the ch- in the uh in the, in the chat and just shout outs for him for for bringing back a pure local from the ground yeah, up sick. uh him costner and a few others are working on that it's going to be incredible i can't i can't wait to see a local return jersey's a big scene a, a, a lot of old players that you know we, we, we got costner there's just so many guys in that area of jersey i, I would name names but most people don't we wouldn't even know who i'm talking about so i'm just gonna no. chill uh, but yes, yeah, super excited for local to come back. Uh, support our boy Arma. Get the word out. Anyone in Jersey, New York area, check it out. That simple. I don't know. Yeah. I'm happy he's doing something like that. That we're starting to see a little bit more support out of scene. So uh, I hope that kind of picks up and maybe gets even a little bit contagious uh, across some of these other scenes moving forward. Costner's in chat and answering questions. Venue is five bucks, and each game is five bucks. Um, that's a, that's a real cheap local. Yeah, um, that's a fair price. That's, that's a very fair price. Uh, you know, I, I'm used to a ten dollar venue. Um, you know, and in a ten dollar pot. Are we just are we just breaking out cats? What's up, Con? How's it going? <laughs> my cat, my cat came by. <laughs> Got to give him attention and pets. Oh, look, love, look, at Mo's, oh, look, at Mo, oh. look at Mo's. Look at Mo. Look at Mo's emote. <laughs> look, my subs are in the chat with Magic Mo. I, 
All right. <laughs> can I get some of Can I get some of my subs to put a nice little Kitty Con emote in the chat? Kitty Con. Absolutely. No. But it's not. He's oh, not a wizard. Mo? Okay. Like Mo. This Mo is a, is a wizard. Is, this is a fucking emperor. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mo, but Mo's a wizard. Oh lord. Dumble Mo. <laughs> hey, there, right, bud. Hey, Dumble Mo. You don't care. You don't care at all. But Mold, make sure you guys go Mold, check him out. Motor right. more. Do your thing. Later, bud. Go check Mold, out. Support Mold, your Mold, own teams as well while you're at it. Okay. Uh, very simple concept. Nothing else to really say about it. Absolutely. Um, that that is gonna do it for episode three. I think we've covered everything that we wanted to. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know the, the drama within the scene, combat cast. Cannot wait for the next one. Yes, Ooh, man, Frost. Please. Frost. Ooh. This this is all I remember about Frost from Deadly Alliance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. She ha she deserves. This is the new Trident Rush, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, just, dude! Hey, just, man. Just, just dagger spam. Tell me you wouldn't play her. Um. So that it looks like if I'm looking at this calendar right. Uh, our next episode should be on March 11th, two weeks from today, because uh, we do this every other week. So if anything else changes, sure. make sure you're paying attention to all of our Twitters, and we'll be able to uh, get any other information out as much as possible. But until then, we'll be seeing you guys in two weeks, unless yes. anything changes. Episode 3 will be up on YouTube tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Romanova and and special guest Mo at the last second. Uh, big teacher. Any closing thoughts? No? no, just thanks for watching. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I see the same faces fun. and I see new faces every single time, so that's super cool. That's good stuff. Thanks for watching. Yeah. All right, guys, you have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching the new Outworld Order Episode 3, and we will catch you guys in two weeks for Episode number 4. You guys have a good Later. night. Later.